let sin alpha be 3 over 5 and alpha is in between 0 and pi over 2 that is first quadrant cosine beta be 2 over 3 and beta is in between 3 pi over 2 270 degrees to 2 pi 360 so third no fourth quadrant and we are asked to find the exact value of cosine alpha minus beta okay so here we are supposed to find the value of cosine alpha minus beta which is equal to this is not simply cosine alpha minus cosine beta no that's not the case looking at the difference of two angles formula just look at the formula and you get that cosine alpha minus beta is cosine alpha cosine beta plus sine alpha sine beta it's coming from the list of given formulas now we need to know the value of cosine alpha uh, which is not given sine alpha is given based on sine alpha we need to find cosine alpha we need to find the value of cosine alpha cosine beta that's given two thirds plus sine alpha that's given three fifths times sine beta uh, we need to determine the value of sine beta based on this okay in fact to find cosine alpha we can write down sine square plus cosine square equals one and get cosine from there but the more general method would be uh, based on this information draw the corresponding right triangle and find the unknown side then you can find the trig function for alpha any trig function any six okay so let's do the alpha in the first quadrant it's given sine alpha is 3 over 5 and we know that sine is opposite over hypotenuse so let's draw the corresponding right triangle in first quadrant this first quadrant this is alpha this is 3 over 5 now we can find the adjacent a square plus b square equals c square so a square plus b square 3 square 9 equals 5 e square 25 subtract 9 from both sides that's 25 minus 9 16 take a square root a equals 4 so this is 4 now we have all three sides for this alpha for this right triangle with reference angle alpha now we can find any trig function and we can find cosine alpha as well let's do the same or same type of work for second angle beta it's given cosine beta is 2 over 3 and we know that cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse and the angle alpha beta is in fourth quadrant so fourth quadrant means i draw a right triangle i'm just uh, fourth so come up all the way here Okay, this should be a straight line. The hypotenuse part. And draw a right triangle. So this is beta. Adjacent is this, that's 2. Hypotenuse is 3. So we need to find the opposite. B. And we know that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So 2 squared plus b squared is. 3 squared that's 9 subtract 4 from both sides we get b square equals 5 and take a square both sides b equals a square root of 5 okay 9 minus 4 is 5 and take the square root but this is going down so this should be negative okay p is negative now we have all three sides then we can find trig function any trig function for the angle beta let's come back to the original question now let's find cosine alpha we use the first right triangle cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse so a is 4 4 over 5 so cosine alpha is 4 over 5 times cosine beta it's given in the question cosine beta is 2 thirds plus sine alpha that's given in the question that's 3 fifths times sine beta uh, looking at this right triangle opposite over hypotenuse opposite is negative root 5 
over 3 okay this is it now let's simplify we multiply first 4 times 2 8 over 5 times 3 15 is a negative sign negative positive negative 3 times root 5 is just 3 root 5 over 15 combine these two fractions the good news we have same denominator and these are unlike terms okay do not subtract this is 8 minus 3 5 root 5 no that's wrong these are unlike terms so we have to put both 8 minus 3 root 5 and this is the exact value okay we can't simplify anything do not cancel 3 and 15 or any other thing this is it.